Why do tourists keep messing around with traditional Japanese culture when visiting? We're going to break it down. Yeah, this is not as bad as Johnny Somali, but still disrespect. Let's run the clip. You can't do that. You can't do that. Oh my goodness. That's so rude. They took Kyoto. That's the only hotel. Boom. Long story short, you guys saw it. I mean, this got 71,000 ups on Reddit and various platforms. This lady is being disrespectful to the traditional geishas in Kyoto. The government of Kyoto now is banning some of the private streets from tourists entering and a lot of people are just like can anybody just respect anybody else's culture is this specifically an american thing towards japan or it is all is it just all tourists everywhere around the world yeah so here are five main reasons why tourists keep disrespecting the traditional japanese areas while visiting uh and we're gonna also give you our thoughts on it and also what is Jap japan doing about it so please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hop out boys check also check out our super thanks button right down below Point number one, I think obviously there is a lack of respect for people's traditional culture. Geishas have been around, I want to say, for like a thousand years. There's only a thousand remaining true real geishas left in Japan, but some of them are still very much living that traditional lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, this kind of reminds me of that time nearby the uh, British Royal Palace where the British guards are supposed to stand very still and there's like people trying to mess with them and they're trying to stay like focused and locked in and not move because that's their tradition. That's their uh, their job. So I do you think it's... Uh, people like not from Britain, like maybe if this woman was British, she might have more respect for classic culture. But since she's probably from America she or Australia, she has no like classic culture. Uh, yeah, I think that Americans are also likely to mess with the British Royal Guards too, with the big hats on. Right. But yeah, I think Americans are more known for that jackass punked Johnny Knoxville Nelk boys type trolling. I think Americans like, maybe invented it. No, I think they take it everywhere in the world. And I think Americans feel like their passport, which is a very great, amazing, powerful passport, that the passport's going to protect you because there is no, like, stories of police brutality in Japan. If you get arrested, you're not going to get hurt. You know what I mean? Like that? Yeah, I would say that Americans and Johnny Somali was American as well. There's this sense of, like, wanting to cash in our points from being the world's dominant power for the past several decades. And when we do that, that can lead to asshole behavior overseas. Right. Like, we run the joint. Exactly. Point number two, in a place where social etiquette is so high, for example, Andrew, Japan all around, but Kyoto specifically, a hyper-traditionalist place in Japan, certain parts of England... You know what I mean? More around the Kensington Palace or whatever. You know what I mean? Buckingham Palace. I'm sorry. I guess... Why do people want to disturb the peace? You mean there's a sense that visitors, you know, uh, coming from out of town, it's almost like Japan is like this still pool of water and you just want to go in there and just splash it up. Is it, is it kind of like being a kid running through a flock of birds? Every kid did that, right? Yeah. Ah! No, it, hey, I used to do it when I was a kid. Or also like, you know, and I understand the feeling. Sometimes people are maybe uh, weirded out or they think it's awkward for things to be so silent, serene, and clean. Where it's like if you walk into a room, you know, a waiting room where everyone's quiet, there's some people who like can't stand the silence. So they just have to do something like fart or like do something goofy like oh hey everybody's silent here What's you're, up you're, you're saying some people are addicted to chaos or 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 just some more crazy stimulus going yeah, on they just feel like i feel like some americans feel like it's their job to add that energy or that chaos and disturb the peace disturb the silence you know? Right, right, right. I think that this lady was probably from like Philly or somewhere and was like, yeah, I'm in attack mode. I got to get the photos to show my grandchildren. No, and, and you know what? Like, I don't think she meant it maliciously. Like, I don't think this little lady, like, she meant to hurt or be super rude, but she's just like, she was so locked in on getting the photo. She's like running around the geisha and clearly the geisha is like trying to avoid her. And it's just like, it's super rude what she's doing. Again, what I don't think she did was that terrible but it's just showing that dang even like a mother of kids uh, a woman can still make the wrong reads you know
Right. Um, a lot of people were calling her Danny DeVito from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, point number three, Andrew. Why do people see Japan as this mystical, mystical Pokemon land? Because whether they're in Tokyo, that's like the mystical anime, you know, like Akira, Super Future. Mm -hmm. And then they're in Kyoto. And then they're like in a Hayao Miyazaki film. I guess. Spirited do you, away. Do we empathize at all with this particular tourist that she's just surprised to see a real life geisha? Because she probably watched memoirs of a geisha before maybe and like then she sees the geisha in real life it's like oh my gosh i gotta take this picture don't come on come on yeah but you know i didn't even think about it that way that she watched i don't know she probably read the book and then watched the one where zang Ziyi was in it too yeah i mean because she doesn't even i will say that she doesn't look like a person you see would see in japan immediately i'm like she looks like she's more like Trying to get a foot long yeah. hot dog I, I in Hollywood or something. I guess some people are just maybe they get shocked that the things that they saw in animes or the movies kind of do exist. But, They're not just a Hollywood set. Like the Kyoto is a very traditional place, a place that everybody has agreed to preserve. Right? There are party places of Japan, of course, in Tokyo. There's rowdy places. There's places Rapongi. where you can, you can be a little bit more rude and rambunctious, of course, in those party Pump areas. Or whatever, yeah. But when you go to Kyoto, there's kind of like this the rules that's like written. It's like, hey, be polite. Right. Um, yeah, and she's she's treating it with a Rapongi like attitude. It's not Thailand. I, I it would be impolite even in Thailand, but there are places with particularly strict social etiquette codes. Japan, probably top five percent in the world in terms of strictness. Right. Uh, point number four, Andrew, some people were trying to make the excuse that black people around Asia and maybe some white people get extra attention as well. Or like when Asian tourists go to the West, sometimes they take a lot of photos. Mm. What do you mean? Like, uh, you mean just kind of like basic Like trying to tourists. say like it wasn't because there were some white people who saw the video and were like, hey, 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 guys, Asians, they don't act. They they act this way when they come to the West too. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I see I, where I they're coming are... from, but not fully, though. They would not do it to the extent that this lady is running in front of the geisha. There has been some bad Asian tourists, okay? Let's be honest. There has been. So I'm not going to say Asian people are incapable of it, but... It's from a different place. I think it's driven yeah, from a different yeah, place yeah, because I, we just stayed I internally. Think, we didn't run the world like whites did. Yeah, I think Asians, when they do it, they're so ignorant but they don't do it out of uh 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 uh, uh malice uh, yeah or, they don't do it out of thinking of out of superiority yeah they don't do it to troll people yeah. like uh in punk again people. listen i don't personally know this little white lady i don't know her intentions it's just embarrassing what she was doing she just people just got to read the signs right um Andrew, here's some photos of Kanye living in Nanjing, China when he was younger. He said that the kids would come up to him and rub his skin to see if the black would come off. Yeah. But they didn't mean it in a bad right. way. David, point number five, a lot of people mess around in Japan because they just know that, honestly, they're not going to get harassed or physically hurt by locals or the police are not really going to handle them a certain way. Now, unless your name is Johnny Somali, Finally, he did get handled by the police and some locals. Uh, uh, you're talking about more Yakuza types. Yeah, yeah, some of the gangsters, right? But in general, like this little lady, like nothing's really going to happen to her, but she does get embarrassed on the internet and people talk about it and people just use it as an example of what not to do when you're in a traditional Japanese place. Again, there are party places like, dude, in the city. I'm sure in Osaka, there are streets where like, the rules are pretty loose, okay? I'm sure. But when you're at the historical sites and you see the tradition, you're supposed to know. And you're supposed to read the signs before you go into Japan. You're supposed to kind of know where you're going. Yeah, and also, let's be honest, Andrew. If she was in Osaka, let's just say in a Yakuza district, I don't think she's following Yakuza that pull up in some black VIP Lexuses taking photos of them either. But she's not doing it because she'd be scared of them. Right, well, because of Geisha, like, I guess you're not... There's no, There's no intimidation of, factor. There's no reason to be scared of the geisha. That's why. Right. Yes. I mean, here's the things that people should remember here. I saw some comments saying that people should attack this white woman. That's not the right path All either. All right, calm down. Yeah, because calm down. that's what makes Japan so civilized is that they would not react that way. Yeah. So that's, why would they descend into chaos based off her chaos? Yeah, the reason why you like Japan is because Japanese people don't just react like that. Right. Um, I think that 
people should seek to educate her on proper etiquette. I'm sure, I hope she's mortified that this video went viral. Do you think that she is? But at the same time, she might be so old, it's tough to say, right? Yeah. Like, all you can hope for is more hope that this uh, video goes viral, educates the next generation to prevent them from uh, having a repeat copycat style video. Hey, you tourists, don't come to Japan and become a meme. What is, ha and I think this is the last point, Andrew. What's happening to manners worldwide? Are manners getting worse worldwide after they peaked in the 90s? Or is it just the people are recording things? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a number of things. I do think culture got more casual and people are like, eh, who cares about rules? But at some point you do need rules. You actually have to have rules, guys. And they have to be enforced because- what, what, are, what are rules meant to do? Rules are meant to keep things in order and keep things structured. Without structure, you essentially, eventually, will have no You society. ever been to a daycare that had no structure versus a daycare with a lot of structure? I'm just saying. Well, I mean, just let's, go. No, no. Just go. Spend 20 minutes no, in each no, of them. Even, even See like, which one you want. <laughs> what about this? For example, have you ever played a sport, a team sport, where there was no teamwork and no structure. And then you played on a team that had a lot of structure. When you have a lot of structure, the team plays better together. But it does require more thinking and work from everybody. And people have to buy in. Yeah, people have to buy into the system. But if you just don't want to think about anything and you're like, well, I just want to play. I just want to have fun. Then you run on the court together and God knows what happens. It's ugly basketball. It's not fun. There's a ball hog, everything. So essentially you need rules. But anyways... People, just read the rules before you go to Japan of all places, especially Japan. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.